Hey Pisces, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. It should resonate, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross-watching, you're gonna have to flip it. Um, there will be a free giveaway of an extended reading and all you have to do is find out what the word is, like the video, uh, make sure you're subscribed and comment what the word is and you have the potential of winning a free extended reading, which is pretty dope. Okay, with that being said, um, as you guys know, there is an extended at the end. It is available on Vimeo or Patreon. The link will be in the comment section below. If you like the card, the link for where you can purchase the Neon Awakening will be in the description as well as where you guys can book a reading. So my lovely, beautiful Pisces, let's go ahead and get into your reading. How does Pisces view their current romantic situation? How, how, how is Pisces viewing their current romantic situation? Okay, Ace of Cups. King of Wands, Nine of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right. So for me, Pisces, I, I feel like there may be either somebody new coming in or it may be some type of renewal. I, I don't know why. Let me, let, let, let me go back, Pisces. I feel like there's a new sense of really finding out who you are. And having this sense of love where you feel like you deserve what you want, right? And I think that the thing about Pisces is Pisces are so used to sacrificing what they want for the greater good of everybody else and always being the one that's giving, always being the one that's understanding. And I feel like Pisces, you're in a place right now, especially with this Ace of Cups, King of, King of Wands type of energy where there's this feeling of self-love and there's this feeling of you know pure intentions and really wanting what you want right like there's something here that i feel like you're very focused on i think it's something that you've probably been thinking about for a period of time something that's bothered you um for some of you guys it is a new relationship coming in um for others of you this is a reconciliation or something with um this it's like cancer energy uh cancer venus energy you have gemini energy um taurus energy as well as leo energy but i feel like there's always been this fear of you know what this relationship looks like i think that there's a fear of the intensity whether it's on your end or your partner's end of the intensity of how you feel about this person or how this person feels about you and i feel like there is some type of union that's coming in where you really have been very patient and you feel like this is a situation that maybe is worth investing in or is worth this other person investing in how does pisces view their current romantic situation Phoenix. It's like there's something about your situation that's changing. Um, you know, a new phase, rekindling, some type of transformation. Um, I feel like you're talking, you know, you're talking about certain things. I think that you're reminiscing about the past. I think that there's past items that you guys are taking a look at and you're really asking yourself, you know, what about this do I need to change? Or what about this is, is changing for me? And I think that it's kind of like a positive energy that's coming in here. I feel like beforehand, Pisces, you may have felt like you weren't enough and that there was a lack of clarity and there could have been a lot of changes that needed to happen and a lot of old habits that needed to break in order for you and this person to truly be together, to truly be in love with one another or to truly have some type of relationship. Um, how does Pisces, okay, hold up. How does Pisces view their person romantically in, in, in this situation? What, what, what do they view their role is in this situation with them right now? The lovers, beautiful. It could be two Pisces that I think Venus is going into Pisces. It's either in Pisces or it's going into Pisces. You may feel like Pisces, like your person right now put all these cards out I feel like with your person you feel that they do love you I, I I think that you're receiving downloads from this person I also feel like with this person it's hard because I think that they try to go the middle ground with you where it's like they try not to be too much in the dark but then they try not to be too much in the light and I feel like there's times where they get in their head about the connection or they get in their head about 
what exactly you want. But I do feel like with this person, you know that they love you. You know that that there is an immense amount of love here. And I feel like Pisces, they were either waiting for you to walk away from something or they were waiting to walk away from something in order to be with you and in, in order to expand with you. But I really do feel like your person felt like, like something needed to be let go of. And, and, and I feel like it's the confusion, Pisces. I feel like it's, it's, it's the past. And I feel like it could be the multiple options that needed to be sacrificed. Like, I definitely feel like there was something here that was hanging the relationship up that was blocking the situation where somebody was very angry. And I, I feel like somebody was very territorial in setting certain boundaries because somebody here wasn't doing what they needed to do in order to have this level of progression. How does this person feel romantically about Pisces? How does this person feel romantically about Pisces? The sun? Aw, Pisces. You make them very happy. I do feel like though with this person, they, they, they do want to make you some type of solid offer, but honestly, Pisces, I, I think it's going to require a level of strength on their end to take some type of action towards you. And I do feel like this person wants to be with you, especially with this four of wands. So, you know, the thing about the sun is there's a lot of light when it comes to your situation. Like you're somebody, Pisces, that makes them very, very happy. You're somebody that kind of lights up their world, especially in the dark. And I feel like this person hasn't communicated that. And for some of you guys, you may not even be speaking to this person right now, but I feel like you're getting intuitive downloads that this person is coming for you and they are gonna be taking some type of action. I also feel like too, Pisces, things are gonna be changing and they're gonna be changing very quickly because there's something here where there is a turn of events and also karma is kicking into play. It's like karma all of a sudden has stepped into the building and karma's like, wait, hold my beer. We have some stuff that we need to talk about. We have some stuff that we need to go over. And I think that it's beautiful. I really do. Because here's the thing, right? Especially when it comes to strength. I feel like with this person, they, they know that they're going to have to be strong enough to get out of their head in order to break old patterns, right? That's the first thing. But also too, I feel like with this person, there's something about ego, right? There's something about ego that I feel like holds them back from you. It's a lot of Leo energy. And I feel like there is a constant change here. And as much as this energy tends to be stagnant, I feel like during this Aries season, things are gonna start picking up where something is gonna be made right here between you and this person. I feel like they're also very attracted to you. You look very sexy, very confident right now. Um, you know, very organized. You're in your boss mode. And I feel like for some of you guys, like this person has thought about marrying you. This, this person has like, because for me with the four of wands here, this is a celebration. It's 11-11, right? The gates of heaven. And I feel like there's a lot of synchronicities between the two of you. They see a lot of synchronicities when it does come to you. And I feel like with this, I mean, you have Cancer Venus, you have Aries Venus and Aries right now. With, with these energies, it's like th there's an immense amount of emotional attachment as well as physical attachment here. And I feel like the one thing that you guys have been waiting for is stability in the 3D or stability in the real world. It's like, I feel like in the ethers or in the 5D, you guys are great. But when it comes to physically being together and making a decision to, to really do things, I think that there's a block here. What's, what's blocking, what does Pisces feel blocks these two romantically? What does Pisces feel blocks these two romantically? Queen of Pentacles, possibly a Capricorn, possibly um, somebody that this person is is attached to. It also can be their job. This th Their job may hold them back, but this could also be somebody who is financially well off, somebody who is in control of um, the home. What, what's blocking? What does Pisces feel like is a block for these two? The Three of Pentacles. It's a lot of Capricorn energy.
it's it's working on things it's stability it's this person walking away from what no longer serves them it's making some type of change making some type of move king of pentacles this person wanting to settle down this person this person there is some type of decision that has to be made here with your person where they're either going to move forward with you in partnership or they're not and I feel like there's a lot going on with this person, especially when it comes possibly to their finances or to their work or to what they're doing. And they're exhausted and they're tired. And for some of them, they may even feel like they're physically not feeling well. I feel like it's change. I feel like this person stops change. What do you want me to tell Pisces about this? Because I feel like there, there's something more to this. Why does Pisces feel the Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles is in the way? with the chariot. I think that Pisces, your person is stuck in a way of doing things. And I think for you, you feel like it's this person's sole purpose to move forward with you. And you feel like there's a lot of pain that's been put into this situation. And if this person could actually just have a sense of forward movement, right? being optimistic it's almost like this person is so stuck in this past energy that it's like they can't even see what's coming ahead for them where for you pisces it's like we can make it whatever we want especially with the wheel of fortune here like you want it we can manifest it right tower but this person has to make a change that they have to change the way that they think they have to change the way that they think about the material the material world right and the tower hits and it changes everything. But I think that with this person, it's almost like you want to tell them like you're in control of your own destiny. No one else is in control of your destiny. And with this person, it's like you want them to stop feeling restricted to a certain area or stop feeling restricted to a certain person possibly. Because how does this make Pisces feel? How, how does this block make Pisces feel? The devil. It's restrictions. It's things that we hide. It's the devil that we feed, right? Pisces, you feel like this, this is restricted. That it causes confusion. That there's other options here. You know, that it makes you upset. What is an unforeseen event in the near future for Pisces and this person? What's an unforeseen event in the near future for Pisces and their person of interest romantically? Wow, that just shot out. The Five of Swords reverse. I like that. I think that the game playing between you and this person, the tit for tat, the back and forth, I feel like that's changing. I feel like you and this person are really going to sit down and, and work out the details. I, I, I think that there's going to be some type of lie here that's brought to the surface where the mind games are done, where this person is, is going to stop playing. I feel like there's a lot of game playing and a lot of like, I'm going to hurt you before you hurt me type of energy. And I feel like you and this person really sit down and try to work on things. Virgo energy. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, um, a, a big commitment. Wow, to you, Pisces. There is a commitment coming in here. And I also feel like there's going to be something that this person expresses to you emotionally that makes you feel good, right? It's something that you've been manifesting. It's something that you've been working hard on. It's something that I feel like Pisces, you've had all the tools or this person, you've given this person all the tools to succeed and now you're going to see something come full circle here. I'm hearing like something that you thought was going to work out a while ago. It's like all of a sudden it's coming together the way that you wanted it to. And Pisces, it's not in your head and you're going to be really surprised at how beautiful I think that things are are going to turn out because I do think that there is a reconciliation possibly with a Scorpio or any other of these signs here. You have Leo, Gemini, Cancer, Taurus, um, Pisces, Virgo, Aries energy, Sagittarius, Capricorn. I feel like Capricorn is a past energy though possibly. 
But I feel like there there's a second chance at love here. I feel like there's something where Pisces, you know, there's a level of communication on a sense of renewal. What's going to be expressed here with this Page of Cups? What's what's going to be expressed here with this Page of Cups to Pisces? The Hierophant. I mean, well, hot diggity dog. You know what I mean? Like, there's going to be something here where this person wants a sense of commitment. There's going to be a moment where everything that that you thought or everything that you your person had had believed prior, it's 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 all going to be. I feel like taken down. What's what's the energy of this tower moment? Like there is a confession here. I'm telling you, I don't know why, but I feel like with this tower energy, it's like something occurs here where it knocks down all of the walls, all of the game playing, it's done. It's like it levels things where your person can see things clearly. I don't know why I'm getting that. And I feel like they're having to deal with the consequences. And like whatever lies that this person was telling, it's like those are being torn away and they're able to see like what's really happening. And it's, it, it is a destruction of pride. Ooh, and there is a huge sense of judgment here. Somebody is gonna, this is what I think Pisces, whether it's you or your person, somebody here is definitely coming in and they're facing their fears. Look at all these major arcana. Let me, let, let me lay these, bu these bubbies out, okay? Let's talk about it. This destruction of their ego, what it's doing is it's making them take a look at themselves and face their fears that they've buried for a period of time. You're dealing with somebody who has buried a lot of fears and has not wanted to acknowledge them. This is somebody that has a lot of skeletons in the closet. This is somebody that lies to themselves, lies to others in order for them to keep this facade of who they are or what they want, right? This person has learned a very hard lesson when it does come to you. Because I feel like Pisces, you were very understanding, but now it's like you're, you're, you're cleansed and now there is an understanding at why there's been so many difficulties in this person's life. Because I think that this person has avoided this tower moment. This person has purposely avoided not acknowledging ending something something that's no longer served them. And with the world here, it's like you're gonna be receiving some type of complete and utter vindication. There's a victory here, Pisces, that I feel like is very well, well deserved that's ultimately gonna come in and really realign and recenter, right? And heal the spirituality with this person and also realign the both of you together. Because there's something that's being expressed here. There, 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 there's a freedom from what's been holding this, this person back, what's been holding the both of you guys back. And I also feel like too, there's something with this person where it's, it's not what this person, like this person has been told what to do, how to do it. There's a lot of control when it comes to this situation. And I feel like your person is finally starting to see things for themselves and think for themselves and say, yeah, you know what? This doesn't make me happy anymore, right? Like the world is a complete change. It's, it's almost viewing things from a different perspective, but also being balanced, right? There's a sense of balance that's coming in. Let's see things from your person's perspective. How does Pisces person of interest, how did they uh, view the current relationship with Pisces right now? How did they view the current relationship? Four of Swords. They're in, they're in really deep thought about what this relationship could be, what type of, um, you know, uh, clarity. And there's also a sense of healing too. What do they feel their role is in their, their relationship with Pisces? What do they feel their role is in their relationship with Pisces? The two of pentacles this person has been going back and forth this person has been stuck in a past situation this person has been stuck in limbo this person it's like i feel like they're you make them happy pisces but at the same point in time they're so used to living in the dark that it's easier for them to stay there and they know that there's some type of decision that has to be made what does this person feel is blocking this connection what do, what do they feel is blocking the connection with pisces on their end the nine of wands the distance the emotional distance. This person keeps running away from their feelings. This person keeps running away and 
there's always constant setbacks because of this person being very guarded. And, and, and what is this person hiding from Pisces? What is this person hiding from Pisces? The truth, the six of swords, that's the truth, literally. Um, and what is this person thinking about heavily? What is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to Pisces? There's something here that this person needs to express to you that's a tough conversation. And I feel like they're scared to have it because there's been a level of secrecy and they're worried that you're not gonna accept their apology or you're not gonna accept what they have to say. Okay, what, what, what is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to Pisces? The three of wands, expansion. Pisces, in the comments, I want you guys to put confidence in the comment section. Because I feel like you need to be very confident that the situation is going to turn out the way that it needs to, despite what you may see or what you may feel right now. Things are changing significantly. And I think that confidence is needed, like a positive energy. So put in the comment section confidence. Because I feel like expansion is coming. What's this person's next actions towards Pisces romantically? They're going to open up and say something to you. Ooh, hello, King of Pentacles. There's some type of offer that's coming in here for you, some type of stability. And what is this person's intentions behind this offer? Have a new start with you to clear the air, I feel like. The Four of Wands. See, a lot of the same cards are coming back up. Okay, a sense of stability. And what is this person's overall end goal when it comes to Pisces? Okay, the Queen of Cups, emotional stability. So Pisces, in the extended, we're gonna clarify all of these. And then I also pull some type of um, Oracle message. I do wanna say this. There is a double energy that is coming up with your person where these are attachments from their past. This is this could be somebody that physically has a spell on them or some type of other attachments, but I feel like that's ending. And I feel like with you, the twin flame and the hangman are starting. So there's some type of awakening that's happening. And I feel like it's because there's a communication pertaining to this person's past that catapult the both of you guys forward. So if you want, yeah, there's a big ending here, okay? If you guys wanna know more about this, please feel free to click on the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you can purchase the extended. With that being said, Pisces, I love you so much and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scout.